What problem is ToroDB trying to solve? So basically is that there's currently a choice they have to make either between a SQL relational databases with the durability warranties, the, the reliability that they have, or a new SQL database where you can scale better and or, or short horizontally scale. But there's no, no both of them at once. So, so what if I want to scale, I want to be big, big, big data, but at the same time I want to keep up with the durability, the reliability, and of course all the functionality that SQL databases have. So this is what TorDB achieves. It's it's best of both worlds. It's a database that is both both a SQL and a NoSQL database. And the way it does that is that layering a NoSQL compatibility layer on top of a relational database that is well known and trusted by I would say almost everybody, which is PostgreSQL. Now, one of the things I would like I said in the opening, it's it's like is like I would think that this kind of translation would make it slower. But what have you found in practice with this? Well, it is surprisingly fast. And, and it's not even that we wrote good code, which I hope it is anyway. It's, it's because Postgres is also damn fast on, underneath. I mean, it's, it's been a lot, uh, here for, for quite a long time. And in general terms, relational databases have been here for 40 years. So really, uh, I mean, it takes a lot of time for a database to mature. And Postgres and relational databases have already had a long time for doing this. They are often referred as legacy. However, I see that's a completely wrong perception. I mean, they are really good at their work. It, it's just that they need to be adjusted to do different kind of work workloads if, if that's what you want, like in the NoSQL world, but they're pretty good at what they do. That's also true what you said at the beginning, that most NoSQL benchmarks, especially MongoDB benchmarks, if you really look at them, you see that most of the time uh, they are done, these benchmarks are performed with most of the durability warranties turned off. If you suddenly turn them on, like basically you do uh, acknowledge of the rights, like right, or you do journaling, and you also enable replication, which is something that you should probably want to do on a MongoDB installation, then performance drops by more than an order of magnitude. So it's not that fast. Now, TorDB has two uh, sides of this performance. One is more on the OLTP side, where we can use uh, PostgreSQL, which is, a, again, it's a fast database, especially the last version. 9.5 is really fast. We have seen a significant improvement in, in speed. And, and then we're also working on a version right now that it's working running on, on Greenplum. This, uh, it, it's another uh, database which has also been open source recently, and Greenplum is specialized on more on OLAP and data warehousing workloads. And there you can also shard horizontally uh, across many servers. They're called segments. So to mm -hmm. be running on, on it, it's also very fast because Greenplum is also very fast on these kind of workloads. So it's just a conveniency uh, that we're using very fast databases underneath TorDB.